Hello nerds, it's Sunday, May 31st. So, we'll be getting to Shakespeare in a second, but first I have a story that, you know, I think he'd kind of approve of. So, this random girl goes to a very, very private school. Recently, the principal and teacher's council released a list of books that they aren't allowed to read. Uh, I need to read this part off my computer so I don't miss any of the titles, but uh, they include the, the Perks of Being a Wallflower, which Audrey, I believe you read a while ago and, and, and enjoyed, uh, his Dark Materials trilogy, Sabriel, The Canterbury Tales, Candid, uh, Candide, Candid, The Candy. Divine... Candide. Candide. The Divine Comedy, Paradise Lost, The Godfather, Interview with the Vampire, The Hunger Games, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I really can't think of anything wrong, uh, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, Animal Farm, The Witches, Shades Children, and lots more. Now, the girl likes most of these books and owns most of them as well. Just after the list was released, a friend of hers asked if they could borrow one of the books on the list. Uh, and this kept happening. So what she eventually started doing was using the empty locker that was beside her own locker and just keeping all of those books in that locker so she could lend them out when someone asked. She gives them due dates and she keeps logs of who wants the next. So she's basically keeping a little library of illegal books. Now, if there were a Nerdfighter prize, I think she may have just won it. Now for Shakespeare! I've been studying him lately. We've been reading Othello in class, in which the phrase, a beast with two backs, was coined. And I think Iago may be my new favorite Shakespeare character ever. But the Twelfth Knight will always be my true love. Um, Elena talked about something similar last, no, not last week, this week, on Thursday, obviously, uh, and I was shocked that he created some of those, but what I was even more shocked to learn in grade four was that he coined the words cat and dog. Where would we be without Shakespeare? We'd, we, I, I don't understand it. To leave you, last Wednesday I had somewhat of a music night, and I had my first solo that was more than a few words, so I'm going to put that in now. Um, if you have no interest in seeing that, you can leave. Like, you don't need to watch the rest of the video. unlucky 13 suicides throughout his plays. I found that amusing. <laughs> 